Okay, we have a new word for Christmas. <laughs> cabbage. 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 Now, uh, the interesting thing about cabbage, and there's nothing sexual here, I'm really sorry, uh, <laughs> is uh, that my friend's children, for, for some reason, have nicknamed me Cabbage. I don't know why, but they are a small one about this size that is a ginger, so we ignore her. Um, and there is, a, there is another one about four, but they uh, couldn't remember my name, so instead shouted the word cabbage at me while we were out having playtime and sadly it has stuck when I asked them what was it about cabbage um, and how they came up with it uh, they didn't say anything like you smell of cabbage or my face looks like a cabbage or I was wearing green so I don't really know where that cabbage nickname came from um, but the problem with nicknames is that nobody really knows where they come from at all. You can't give yourself a nickname because it never sticks. So what you have to do is you have to be given a nickname by somebody else. And they have to be of a, so significant within your friendship group that it often sticks. So I also have another nickname which is um, Oyster. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely true, and if you derive back, it's because my name is Chris and I'm big, so somebody went, the big sea, what lives in the big sea, fish, <laughs> what also lives in the ocean, oysters. So, there are actually people within my friendship group that call me Oyster. Um, uh, I'd, I'd like to think because I, I have a pearl inside. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Um, but that's probably not the case. Does anybody else here have a nickname they'd like to share? <laughs> Is everybody else too scared to say anything out loud? That's a shock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nicknames are a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with nicknames. There are a lot of footballers that have nicknames, a lot of sports people that have nicknames. Essentially mum and dad are nicknames in a, in, in a way or a way. Like it would be weird <coughs> if you called your parents by their first names. That would be a weird thing to do, wouldn't it? And I think I'm going to ha have to finish this off in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't touched anybody this time. <laughs> <laughs> Say, 
Big Smitty. Big Smitty, are you only talking in footsteps again? <laughs> <laughs> How many did you see, Big Smitty? <laughs> I hear that there's some stranger in the town. I know, don't get <laughs> So, they say he's been spending a lot of time in the cat house. of Little Dicky. I want you to go down there. I want you to go to the cat house, find this Little Dicky, and whack that Little Dicky. <laughs> Welcome to the cat house, Big Smitty. Oh. What y'all doing here? It's good to see ya. Me look for Little Dicky. <laughs> now, did I hear my name? <laughs> yeah, well, let me allow me to introduce you. This is Big Smitty. Oh, oh, honored, Big Smithy. Very nice to meet you. Good to meet you, little Dickie. <laughs> Sandra, get the bucket and the mop. I think we're gonna need it. <laughs> I heard they call you Little Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out if true. <laughs> Well, my fellow evil genius, I think I finally cracked it. Yeah, cracked what? <laughs> I've invented the most torturous, most puzzling maze of all time that no one can escape. No! No matter what happens, what you happens? always end up at vaguely fish-themed things. <laughs> Why? Oh, it's like Poseidon fucked Theseus. <laughs> it's going to drive them mad. They think they might be heading, I don't know, for a desert or maybe a McDonald's, but they get to the McDonald's and what do they order? What do they order? A fillet of fish. Oh! <laughs> and in the desert, everyone knows you can't get no fresh fillet of fish. <laughs> oh, you I are think a it's genius. absolutely marvellous. And when we get fucking super blow up boy, super boy, <laughs> super boy. <laughs> when we finally capture super boy, I'm going to throw him in that maze and I'm going to drive him fishy mad. Oh, but you know that super boy's weakness is fish. Be absolutely. That Precisely the reason I made this. Explain the whole thing. <laughs> Superboy, we've been trapped in this labyrinth for the last two days. Well, as long as there's no fish in here, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been surviving on this cabin. <laughs> oh no! Your one weakness! The land fish! <laughs> Get away from me, for God's sake! It's the gills! <laughs> Cut me to the heart! I've no cabin, Jazzy! <laughs> Oh my god, get away. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, uh, can we go at least to the desert area? We're in a labyrinth, I don't know how. <laughs> well, it was on the map, there was a desert area. You have a map to this labyrinth and we've been <laughs> stuck here for two days? <laughs> you should have mentioned this, Superboy. I'm not super strong, I'm not super clever. <laughs> <laughs> where do we go, where do we go? Well, the labyrinth, uh, there was a desert area. We, we should head to it. Superboy, Hello. as your mother, I can only appear to you at times when things are difficult, perhaps... Hi, Mum. Perhaps when there are fish nearby. Fish? And at that time, your cortisone levels in your super system will cause me to appear as some form of hallucination. Thanks, Mum. Are you talking to someone I can't see? <laughs> when your father and I first put you in that pod and sent you to Earth... To get away from all the fish. We didn't realise the fish finger sandwich would somehow transmutate and cause you all sorts of fish-related trauma over long term. <laughs> what I want you to remember is... You have so many fish and chip shops, Mum. I want to come back. There's something that you can use to make fish and chip shops bearable. What? Use the sauce. <laughs> the sauce. <laughs> oh, magic sauce. I forgot all about it. So, mm. one thing about this maze. Yes. Now, what else have you put in it other than fish and walls and obvious no maps? Very much those those things. There's a, 
also misleading doors. So there's a door that says spatchcock, you go through it expecting to see a chicken, yes. ends up being squid themed. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Look, this room's safe, it's got chicken in it. Oh, perfect. Oh! oh wait, 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 wait. I've still got the. <coughs> sorry, sorry, I like dancing. <laughs> and of course, the secret weapon of this maze. Shark Boy! Oh my! You're when, back from the dead! When they finally find him, he shall be on the other side of the door, marked definitely not Shark Boy. <laughs> this should be safe. Okay, definitely not Shark Boy. Yeah, I can't see anything wrong going there. Oh dear Christ! <laughs> we cut to five minutes earlier. Oh, I hate maintaining this maze. <laughs> nice for lunch, right? Do you want some yeah. ketchup on your burger? Oh yes, ketchup. Oh, oh, I'll just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> no one will find it. It's bloody labyrinth. Well, <laughs> you two get back to work quick. Oh, 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 you do. <laughs> quick, the shark. Look, a bottle of ketchup. Use the sauce. <laughs> <laughs>